Well, as you can see, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of shavings on the floor, and that's uh, because I've just spent one hour. Really, I, I timed it one hour um, just planing down this leading edge on the top and on the bottom. And just like I said in the previous video, the whole idea was to uh, take the edge, excuse me, the angle coming off the uh, rib here and just coming out flat and then taking that all the way down to W20. Now let me show you kind of kind of where we are. This is the rib, obviously, and here is the uh, the leading edge before we've trimmed it. So in the in the dark black here, there's a slight curve. And what I've done is plane it down. This is flat. The idea is to show that it was flat and not curved. What we're going to um, let me show you some other. When we plane down just a little bit more, we don't want to do this. We don't get a we don't want a pointed uh, leading edge. Well, that'll look pretty bad. And you know, we don't want kind of a bull nose out here either. That's going to look pretty bad. Needless to say, this is what we want: a nice continuous. I think it's a parabolic curve, uh, parabola coming out there, and that's what we want. In order to do that, we're going to carefully. Here's where we're going to wind up, but we just want to come out here. This this is the flat we already have, so we're going to do a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here, but not so much that we take out that blue line that is inscribed on the leading edge. I hope that makes sense. And by the way, uh, in the last video, I was remarking about this, and I measured it you know, with my calipers here, and this is about 20, 20 thousandths of an inch thick. So, uh, <laughs> about 12 swipes will, uh, will take off a quarter of an inch. So, it gets the job done pretty fast. Let me say one more thing without hopefully belaboring the point on the, um, on the plane. The reason you really want, you, you need to own one of these and get one if you don't have one, for shaping is because it gives you so much control. When you think about it, there's just this blade right here. That's all there is to it, plus a flat surface. So when you plane, obviously, you can see right where it's cutting. It's not, cut, it's not cutting here, it's not cutting here, or anywhere else except where the blade is. Contrast that to a sanding pad like this, which we'll, we're going to use this later. But when you put a sanding pad down, you don't know what you're doing. Well, you will when I, when I show you how, but you have far less control in, in some respects with a pad than you do a plane. A plane is faster, a, a, a pad is going to be smoother. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to, here's where we want to wind up. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm going to just carefully take off Trixie, careful about the light there, but I'm just going to take off something like that. Then I'm going to come back and do a little bit of this and a little bit of this. The rest of this is going to come down through sanding. Now, I just want to say one more thing about technique. You can learn a great deal. In fact, the only way you can learn is to, to feel it. These ribs and the angle of this... Uh, leading edge. I got got it right where I want it by feel. You get to a certain point and you can just feel it coming off the rib. This angle is changing from uh, from W1 to W20 up there, maybe more like W19. By the way, I did uh, I did uh, uh, plane down, or sort of rough plane the uh, the wing tip. And if we have time, I'll talk about that later. That's that's pretty much done by eye and kind of get it just the way you want it. So here goes. We won't take the whole video doing this because it will take longer than we want to uh, shoot film. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come down here and try to do that first 
Well, you can see right here on the edge. See? See how that works? So I'm just going to take this sharp angle here and kind of divide it. Look at that. No big deal. I'll have to readjust my stance. I'm going to take just a little bit more. And I'm going to feel it. Okay, well obviously I can go some more, so I'm going to... I think you should go just as far as you possibly can without stopping for a, a smoother job. All right. Now, uh, I'm feeling it. A little bit more. I'm not going to go very far here. I'm not going to do uh, both sides on this video. Now, can you see how that's changed a little? All right. Let's take it a little bit more. But we're not going to go very far. I'm going to see. All right. I can feel that closer to the line, it's a little too flat. Now, if I take the line out, I've obviously gone too far. Let's do just a little bit more. You've just got to use some common sense. The nice thing about a plane is it won't get ahead of you. It will only do what you tell it to do. Okay, it's a little bit blunt. Where it, it's very much like this right now. I don't want to wind up like this. I do want to wind up, well, eventually when we're done sanding, it's going to wind up like this. I'm still working on these flats. Your sense of, uh, okay, that's coming in pretty nice. It's still a little, it's still a little bull-nosed. I'm not really guessing at this. I'm feeling, and it, it, my, my fingers are telling me to remove a little bit of stock. And like I said before, you remove with the plane what is most obvious. And I'm not trying, I'm not shooting for perfection. I'm just doing some shaping. And I'm almost ready to stop on this top section of the leading edge. Maybe just a little bit more here and I'll... Now, see how that's come down? There's about a sixteenth of an inch here. I'll take it a little bit more. But um, I don't know whether the, uh, the camera can take a long shot. But the same idea up here. Don't want to overdo it. Sort of feel it as coming around. Uh, I've said this before, but it but it's really true. It's amazing how if you're careful, just by the sense of touch, using your eyes and being very very patient, light touch. I'm not forcing anything here. This will come right around. By the time we're done sanding it. It's going to be uh, virtually perfect, and that's what you want. I've never really, it, as long as you work on it 
like I've done. I've never really had one come out wrong. I've never sawed a cross section, but I think you'll be very pleased with the result if you just work slowly and with patience.